the moment you tell yourself that you can't do something, that's the moment when you won't do it. I would never have got Game of Thrones. I'm absolutely obsessed. Ten years back, I was already mad thinking about me holding the trophy. I was just unbeatable. Be beginning of all hardships, you know, very, very difficult times. You, you want to just lay, lay, lay down and, 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 and basically just you know, die. Can we shut down the cameras for one more Our history when someone has been very successful and we are only 350,000 people who won the World Six Man title nine times. And in so many other sports as well, we've been super successful. In CrossFit Games, Anime Stories Doctor, Katin Tanya, John Paul Samuelson kind of like opened the doors for the other guys. He showed that this is possible. I don't know what it is, but we have been very successful in sports, even though we are a small culture. And why is that? It's the pride, like you say, we're very proud of the country and we want to wanna shine and, and show the other big nations that we can also be great like them. When I started to um, train in the gym at the age of 17, 18, I saw a very fast progress. I was very dedicated from the beginning, you know. I was always trying to get like information on like how can I improve myself and this and this and this and the strength just, just loaded on me, you know. This doof, 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 came on fast. Why? I think discipline. And I spent a lot of time as a young kid on a farm with my with my grandfather, and it was hard work. You know, we worked. We woke up. We worked the whole day. Early, early mornings, I have to like pick up stones, take all the big rocks, and like like put them on the barrels. And I hated that job, but like I did it for days and weeks, picking up rocks. And that was probably the beginning of you know my uh, strongman training, picking picking up rocks. You know, that disciplined myself to be like a hard worker and, and then when the, when the basketball came along, it was the same thing, you know. I had, I had good mentors that, that, that helped me to become disciplined and then when, it, when I had to actually work on my, on my own, you know, in the gym, like, yeah, I have a coach, but he's not always there with me. I'm the one that has to do the work. I'm the one that has to eat the food. I'm the one that has to do all these things. Yeah, you can have the best coach in the world, but that doesn't make you a champion. You have to work for yourself. This is gonna be my life. I'm gonna be obsessed, completely obsessed with everything that concerns getting better. Of course, there's this pain along the way, you know, but these are all just feelings up here, you know. How are you going to treat, treat those feelings, you know? What are you going to do about it? For me, I, I would do anything possible to recover as fast as possible so I could even train more often. That's my goal. The more you can train, the better you get. If I can train more than that guy, most likely on the long term, we'll get much better than him. Easy is that in a new world record 1045 pounds for the mountain. I didn't lose a competition. You might see a guy win one show, but seeing guy winning show after show after show after show, that's hard. That takes dedication. I was in beauty.
I am obsessed. It doesn't even, I don't even have to think about it in my mind. I'm that dedicated. The result speaks for itself. People look at success in many different ways, you know. Success is to be healthy. Success is to be a, a good father, have a good family. Uh, you know, they are the reason why I, you know, I want to make them proud, my family, and my daughter. When I'm working hard in the gym, you know, uh, I don't want to let them down, you know. I want to make them proud. That's my biggest motivation, is to, you know, when I, when my, when my daughter got born in 2009, um, my life changed completely. You see so many people um, stuck in the same routine and they hate it. They hate it. They're not happy in their life. They're not happy with their, with their uh, whatever they're doing, you know. And 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 and, and if you want advice from me, if that's your life right now, go find something else. Just 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 try try something else out. You know, if, if you're miserable in your life and and uh, I've actually been miserable. People people can be miserable even though they they have. Everything, you know, you, you see super successful people in life and you think there's no way they are missing. I have gone through some very difficult times to honest with you. And lately in the last two, three years, I've been going through some very hard times. Some very, very hard times. And I haven't been very open about that. Um, yeah, it's been very tough for me. I um, had to deal with some 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 difficult things that I I couldn't control, um, and that's life. It's it's very hard, and you know it's. Um, it's difficult, you know, it's um, like I'm human like everyone else, I have feelings, I go through hard tips like everyone else and um, 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 yeah, I had to go through some, some, some bad stuff. Um, I'm, for example, like, I'm, yeah. Can we shut down the cameras one, one, one minute? Yeah, yeah. Be beginning of all hardships, you know, very, very difficult times. You you want to just lay, lay, lay down and, 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 and basically just, you know, die, you know, when you go through very, very difficult times, you know. Um, um, but I... I, 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 I took it as strength and I I thought to myself, well I'm gonna I'm not gonna let this, even though it kinda of did, completely ruin my life. And I'm just gonna I wanna be honest about, about this right 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 now. Um, I actually haven't seen my daughter in three years. Like, um, I haven't physically, she, like, I haven't been able to hurt, hurt my daughter for three, three years. And that's the hardest thing I've gone through. It's really hard to talk, talk about it. And the hardest thing is there's nothing I can do. Um, of course, if I could, I would go now and see her. Um, but, but that's just sometimes you you put into difficult positions, and that's life. It's very unfair. 
this is hard for me to talk about. Um, this is something that, that, that many, many fathers and, and moms are, are, are going through. Um, and it's, it's, um, it's, 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 um, it's, it's not easy. I, I use my daughter as a strength, you know, I, I, I think about her every day and I want to be successful with her and I want to like, I think like, okay, if I'm constantly in the spot, like doing stuff and, 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 and being successful, you know, she's going to see it. And then that's what motivates me, you know. She, she knows who I am and she, we, 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 we speak together every uh, uh, Sunday. And that, that's, that's the highlight of, of every, every week, you know, when I, when I have to get, get call, call her. Um, but but that's, that's, that's it. I'm, I'm um, doing everything in my power to be able to um, see her again. And, 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 and I know one, one day that's going to happen. She is my biggest motivation, you know. She is probably the reason why I won't work with men. Ah! Two more! Three more! Ah! Ah! Last one, last one, last one! Ah! Ah! I use my door as a strength. I'm a huge believer in accepting the pain. I believe that it's going to affect my, my, my mind. That's going to make me tougher. I want to make them proud. My family. My daughter.